The discovery of synthetic plastics in the 19th century opened the way to the creation of a huge range of solid materials, unlike anything that had ever been known before. Light, non-corroding, and capable of being molded into almost any imaginable shape. While plastics can occur naturally, all of the plastics now in widespread use are entirely synthetic. In 1907, Belgian-born American inventor Leo Bakerland created one of the first commercially successful plastics, now known as Bakelite. What gives plastic its special quality is the shape of its molecules. With only a few exceptions, plastics are made from long organic molecules known as polymers, strung together from many smaller molecules or monomers. A few polymers occur naturally, such as cellulose, the main woody substance in plants. Although the molecules of natural polymers were far too complex to work out in the 1800s, some scientists began to explore ways of making them synthetically from chemical reactions. In 1862, British chemist Alexander Parkes created a synthetic form of cellulose, which he called Parkesine. After developing the world's first photographic paper in the 1890s, Bakerland sold the idea to Kodak and used the money to buy a house equipped with its own laboratory. Here he experimented with ways of creating synthetic shellac. Shellac is a resin secreted by the female lac beetle. It is a natural polymer that was used to give furniture and other objects a tough, shiny coat. Bakerland found that by treating phenyl resin made from coal tar with formaldehyde, he could make a kind of shellac. In 1907, he added various kinds of powder to this resin and found that he could create a remarkable, hard, moldable plastic. Chemically, this plastic is known as polyoxybenzylmethylene glycol anhydride, but Bakerland called it simply Bakelite. Bakelite was a thermoset plastic, plastic that holds its shape after being heated. Due to its properties of electrical insulation and heat resistance, Bakelite was soon being used to make radios, telephones and electrical insulators. Many more uses were quickly found for it. Today, there are thousands of synthetic plastics, including plexiglass, polythene, low-density polyethylene, and cellophane, each with its own properties and uses. Leo Bakerland was born in Ghent in Belgium and studied at the university there. In 1889, he became associate professor of chemistry and married Celine Svartz. While the young couple were on honeymoon in New York, Bakerland met Richard Anthony, head of a well-known photographic company. Anthony was so impressed by Bakerland's work with photographic processes that he hired him as a consulting chemist. Bakerland moved to the USA and was soon in business for himself. Bakerland invented the first photographic papers known as Velox before developing Bakelite, which made him rich. He is credited with many inventions besides plastic, registering more than 50 patents in total. He died in 1944 and is buried in Sleepy Hollow Cemetery, New York.